For decades, Boeing and Airbus have dominated the skies, but that might be about to change. Meet the C-929, China's new wide-body jet. Built to take on the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. Powering this ambitious aircraft is the CJ-1000A engine, a homemade powerhouse designed to free China from reliance on Western technology. This isn't just another airplane, it's a challenge to the global aviation order. But can the C929 truly compete with its Western rivals? And will the CJ-1000A be enough to push Boeing and Airbus out of China's market? Well, let's find out. If you had told Boeing or Airbus two decades ago that China would be building its own commercial jets, they might have laughed. But today, the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, COMAC, isn't just a competitor, it's a serious threat. Backed by billions in government funding, COMAC was founded in 2008 with a single mission, break the Western monopoly on commercial aviation. And China wasn't just interested in making planes, it wanted to make planes that could compete on price, performance, and technology. COMAC's first attempt to enter the market was the ARJ-21, a regional jet aimed at competing with smaller aircraft like the Embraer E-Jet and Bombardier CRJ series. On paper, it looked promising, but in reality, it was plagued with delays, technical problems, and certification issues. First flying in 2008, it took nearly eight years before it entered commercial service. Airlines were hesitant, and the jet never gained international traction. COMAC knew it had to do better, so it set its sights higher with the C919, a narrow-body jet designed to compete with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. Learning from past mistakes, China partnered with Western suppliers for crucial components including engines from CFM International. The result was a jet that could finally stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with its rivals. In 2023, the C919 entered commercial service, with over 1,500 orders from Chinese airlines alone. It wasn't perfect, but it proved one thing. China could build competitive commercial jets. But what makes the C929 so special? Let's break down the details of this game-changing aircraft. The C929, COMAC's newest aircraft, is China's first true competitor to the world's most advanced wide-body jets, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner and Airbus A350. This isn't a small regional jet or a narrow-body airliner. This is a long-haul twin-aisle aircraft designed to compete on the global stage. And it's not just about competing, it's about offering something better and cheaper. With a seating capacity of 250 to 350 passengers, the C929 is built for versatility. Airlines can configure it for high-density economy seating or opt for a more spacious, premium layout. It boasts a range of 6,500 nautical miles, making it capable of flying long-haul international routes, though still slightly behind the 787 and A350 in range. However, what it lacks in range, it makes up for in cost efficiency and affordability. COMAC has focused heavily on fuel efficiency and passenger comfort, using advanced composite materials to reduce weight and lower operating costs. The aircraft's aerodynamic design is expected to deliver better fuel economy than older wide-body jets, a critical factor for airlines looking to cut expenses. Inside, passengers can expect a quieter, smoother ride, thanks to improved cabin pressurization and noise reduction technology. One of the C929's biggest selling points is that it is significantly cheaper than its Western rivals. Boeing and Airbus aircraft often come with price tags exceeding $250 million, while the C929 is rumored to be 20-30% to cheaper. For airlines, that's a game-changer. The project wasn't without turbulence, though. Originally a joint venture with Russia, the C929, then called the CR929, was meant to be a shared project between COMAC and Russia's United Aircraft Corporation. However, sanctions and geopolitical tensions pushed Russia out of the deal, leaving China in full control. Some saw this as a setback, 
Instead, it became an opportunity. China now owns the entire program, including key technologies. But a plane is only as good as its engine. Can China really ditch Western-made engines and go fully independent? Let's talk about the CJ-1000A, the engine designed to power China's aviation revolution. The C919, Comac's narrow body jet, depends on the CFMLEAP-1C, a French-American engine built by CFM International. That dependency is a problem, one that became crystal clear when the U.S. briefly considered banning exports of LEAP engines to China. If China wanted true aviation independence, it needed its own engine. That's where the CJ-1000A was born. Developed by the Aero Engine Corporation of China, AECC, the CJ-1000A is China's answer to Western dominance in aerospace technology. Designed to replace the LEA-P1C, this engine generates 30,000 to 31,000 pounds of thrust, making it powerful enough for medium-haul jets like the C919 and, potentially, the larger C929. But power isn't enough. The engine needs to be efficient, reliable, and competitive. To achieve this, AECC incorporated advanced titanium fan blades, state-of-the-art compressors, and next-generation turbine technology. These features reduce fuel consumption and emissions, putting it on par with Western engines in terms of performance. China is also investing heavily in testing and certification, with flight tests already underway. AECC aims to have the engine fully certified by 2025. This is more than just an engineering milestone, it's a strategic shift. The ability to produce a homemade high-performance jet engine means China is no longer at the mercy of Western suppliers. Sanctions, trade wars, and political tensions can no longer ground China's aviation ambitions. If the CJ-1000A proves reliable in real-world operations, it could become the foundation for China's future aircraft, including larger, more advanced jets. But how does this all fit into China's grand plan? Let's talk about Air China, the first airline to officially back the C929, and what that means for COMAC's future. In a move that sent ripples through the global aviation industry, Air China officially became the first buyer of the C929 at the 2024 Zhuhai Air Show. The announcement wasn't just about adding new aircraft to the airline's fleet, it was a loud and clear signal that China is ready to challenge Boeing and Airbus on a global scale. For years, China's flagship carrier has relied heavily on Boeing's 777s and Airbus's A350 for its long-haul operations. But with the introduction of the C929, that's about to change. This deal is more than just a sale. It's a political and economic statement. Air China, as the country's national carrier, has always been a strategic tool for Beijing's aviation ambitions. By committing to the C929, the airline is paving the way for other Chinese carriers to follow suit. And they will. China's aviation market is one of the fastest growing in the world, with a projected demand for over 9,300 new aircraft by 2043. If COMAC can meet production targets, the C929 could quickly become the default wide body jet for China's airlines, replacing older Boeing and Airbus models. But the impact won't be limited to China. COMAC has aggressively marketed the C929 to international carriers, particularly in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East, regions that are looking for cost-effective alternatives to Western aircraft. If Air China's launch of the C929 proves successful, it could give hesitant foreign airlines the confidence to place orders, further eating into Boeing and Airbus's market share. For the Western giants, this is an undeniable threat. China has always been one of their most lucrative markets. However, if COMAC gains traction at home and abroad, it could chip away at decades of dominance. The real question now is, can COMAC deliver these aircraft on time and at scale? That's the real challenge.
Let's talk about the hurdles Comac must overcome before it can truly compete with Boeing and Airbus. Building a plane that can compete with Boeing and Airbus is one thing. Delivering it at scale, getting it certified, and convincing airlines to trust it is an entirely different battle, one that Comac is about to face head-on. The first challenge is production capacity. Right now, Boeing and Airbus can each produce over 60 aircraft per month, thanks to decades of refining their supply chains and assembly lines. Comac, however, is still ramping up. The C919 program, which launched before the C929, already has a backlog of over 1,500 orders, and Comac has struggled to mass-produce aircraft quickly. With the C929 now in the pipeline, the question is, can China scale up fast enough to meet demand? If not, airlines might hesitate to place orders, fearing long delivery times. Then there's certification, arguably the biggest roadblock to international success. The FAA and EASA set the global standard for aircraft safety certifications. Without their approval, the C929 will be locked out of major Western markets. The problem is that certification isn't just a technical process, it's also political. The US-China trade war has already led to restrictions on aerospace technology exports, and Western regulators could slow down or even block approval under the guise of safety concerns. Geopolitical tensions make things even more complicated. While China is pushing for aviation independence, it still relies on some Western-made components, particularly avionics and composite materials. If sanctions escalate, Comac could face supply chain disruptions, delaying production. This was a key issue with Russia's MC-21 jet, which suffered major setbacks after Western suppliers pulled out due to sanctions. Could the same happen to Comac? It's a real possibility. Lastly, trust is a major factor. Airlines are inherently risk-averse. They won't gamble on an unproven aircraft, no matter how cheap it is. Boeing and Airbus have decades of flight data and proven reliability, while Comac is still building its reputation. Right now, Comac is still seen as an alternative option, not an industry leader. That perception won't change overnight. It will take years of safe, reliable operations before airlines fully trust Chinese-built aircraft for long-haul international routes. But if Comac delivers on its promises, the C929 could be China's first truly global jet, one that flies in the fleets of airlines far beyond Asia. So, what do you think about China's bold move in aviation? Do you think Comac has what it takes to challenge Boeing and Airbus? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting updates on the future of aviation. Until next time, safe travels.